Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Big West Rage, just coming back to y'all with another No Money Spent episode. And before I start this video, I would just like to say, hey, I know I need to stop apologizing. Look, I know I need to stop saying sorry for every time I make a video. I just need to correct it and be a little bit more consistent. But I'm just going to say, it's been hard to play this game. It's been, like, the motivation is not there, probably, because it's the end, you know, end of the life, 2K life cycle, and because this season has been the worst so far this year. There has been some bad seasons, but this season, season eight, is probably the most driest, boring, ass season in a while. Like, really, really bad. And I would just like to say, look, I'm sorry that I'm not making, you know, a lot of videos. And, you know, it's just, what's, what's the motivation? And also, my family came down from from a different state, you know what I mean? Spend time with them. So it's like, I just find hard, the, I find hard, the motivation for playing this game right now is at an all-time low. And I think a lot of people are feeling that way. A lot of people are feeling that way. And as they should. Like, I don't even think Yesmen can even, like, defend this season. This season has been so bad. I don't even see the Yesmen out here defending 2K. Because this season is so bad. So bad. I, like, it makes no sense how bad this season is. Like, the only grindable content we got is, you know, the you know the regular Smeggler. I said Smeggler. Regular, you know, triple threat. You know, the domination, some challenges, and, you know, if you want clutch stomp. But once you do all that stuff, and then when you figure out if you really want to go for this domination, and you don't want to play hundreds of games. Oh, John Morant. I didn't see that today. Okay, so I'm going to go over that, too. A new Invincible John Morant. I told you, I haven't really been on a game. I, I, as you can see, my reaction. I didn't know John Morant. That's actually cool. But one thing I'm going to say is, it's been very, very hard. And I'm going to say very hard to get any of these cards. I've seen people play hundreds, hundreds, if not thousands of games and not see a John Moran. That's why I'm, I'm saying even like I think John Moran entices me. But if I play like 20 games and I don't even see a Dark Matter, like neither Invincibles or Lisa Lamar Odom, I'm not going to be motivated to play, and I think a lot of people are like that. Like, a lot of people are just sick and tired of RNG. They're sick and tired of these bullshit-ass events. Like, the only grindable content, and it's not even grindable. It's literally random. So, you could play five games and get John Moran, or you could play 100 games. Two, three, four, five, 100 games and play John Moran. But it's, it's not, it's no motivation to play that for me and a lot of people. Like, if you really do this triple threat stuff, then go ahead, be my guest. Play hundreds of games and not get anything. That's what it feels like. And it's 2K, bruh. Like, I feel like I want to play a different game so bad. Like, I'm so tempted to play NBA Live 19 because y'all don't understand how more rewarding that game was. Now, my team mode, I don't think it was all that rewarding, but it still had groundable content. But when I, when I say I had fun playing my career, it was actually... Bruh, I didn't have to spend money on my career. It was no micro. Now, the microtransactions was in the ultimate team. But my career, oh, my God, you got free clothes. You didn't even have to buy clothes. It was free clothes. You know, if you get certain levels, if you play certain challenges, you can get this free item, this free. So, like, it was so rewarding to play. The only thing about NBA Live that I had a problem with was the gameplay. Like, the Ultimate Team was actually better, too. Like, the pack odds, the the actual free, grindable content they gave you. I remember NBA Live 18. I had LeBron, bro, for free. I think I had LeBron, Shaq. I had a lot of good players for free. I didn't have to spend a dime on that game. And I had those top players for free. The only problem with NBA Live was gameplay. Gameplay was just shit. It was terrible. It was terrible. It was just too animation based. Like 2K is animation based too, but not to the extent NBA Live was. If NBA Live had at least better gameplay, I'm telling y'all right now, I would be playing NBA Live. It's just, it sucks because it's the only game we could play. 
because at the state descent, like even my career, they got fuck for level forty for my career. They literally gave them. What did they give them? They gave them some 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 ugly looking shoes that make you walk faster. Bruh, you cannot make that shit up. Season eight, all around the board for my career, my team has just been so fucking ass. Especially my team. My team is so dry. I can't even explain to y'all how dry this season been. Like y'all should know already. This season has been so dry. Domination, I don't want to play. Because, I mean, what's the point of getting domination anymore? Because in-game James Harden, they already gave him Steph Curry jump shot. That was already... I hate I hate Steph Curry jump shot. I think a lot of people didn't like Steph Curry jump shot. But it's something to do. But then the badges that... I mean, 30 games, 5-minute quarters for 4 quarters is not it, bro. We are in 2022. These should have been triple threat to, to like... if. You, to like 50 or like 51 something or even 21 we're in 2022 every other game mode does stuff like that where you do you score a touchdown and the challenge ends that's it that's it nobody wants to play five minute quarters for a contract that costs 9k for five games you get one diamond contract those tokens are irrelevant because if you look at the token market they update the token market with more badges. And badges, you can make, probably make 100K. But that's only if you could get cards a certain, like the Invincibles, if you could get them to 70, if you can get them to 80, you're making like 200K, depending on which one you badge up, or even 300K. But some, like, you're gonna see in a few, like I badged them up to like 74, like I badged out Taco to like 74, and I badged out like a Kawhi to like 74. I only made like 80-ish K after taxes. So badges right now, you can't really make a shit ton of money for badges anymore. So it's like, what happened to releasing new fresh players in, in the token market? Like why can't you release some invincible you know, cards, invincible dark matters that never got a card this year? Like... You could give us an invincible RJ, like RJ, uh, what's his name? Richard uh, Jefferson. You could give us an a invincible Richard Jefferson in the market. You could give us an invincible Kyrie Irving for the dark dog. Like, it, it, bruh, what happened to giving us, back in 2K20 and 2K19, they gave us good rewards in the token market. Now, token market. It's so underwhelming. So underwhelming. Like, I already picked up the Invisible, uh, what, what's his name? Julius Irvin. I, I don't want Xavier McDaniel. He don't even make my team. He don't make most people team. He don't even make most people teams. He's, what, 6'9", small forward. With an 88-3 ball. 88 block, 88 still. I mean, yes, he's decent. He decent. But come on, man. Be better, 2K. Like, and it's crazy because if you talk about this, like, oh, you're complaining. That's not complaining. That is literally constructive criticism. And it's not even constructive criticism. 2K is so greedy, especially this year. They did it last year with the talking market. But I think the level 40s kind of made up for it because level 40s was so much better than it is. Last year was so much better than this year. This year, level 40s, oh, my God, so underwhelming. Even this Jokic is like, yeah. Man, yeah, okay, I'll take him. This is probably the best reward card we got, but it's like we already they dropped all these in-game cards before I even got Jokic. For most people, even before they get Jokic, it might now for most for some people, I think that might be your first in-game. But like people that play this game from September have enough MT to buy a lot of in-games by now. By now, you know what I mean? So underwhelming. Oh, my bad. I, I kind of spoiled that, but I just wanted to get through this little rant because to say to my team right now, I, I hope it's better next year, but I just have a funny feeling the level 40s are still going to be trash. They're not going to give us the top of the top. Like, I want a big name for level 40 like they did last year. Kawhi, Dwayne Wade, um, Steph Curry, 
Blake Griffin was not the biggest of names, but when he came out, the best power forward in the game, hands down. If Don't let nobody else tell you otherwise. Blake Griffin literally helped me, I think, helped me get all the way to the Galaxy Oval chair. And I don't even play Unlimited. I'm not that good at this game to play Unlimited. You know what I mean? My Unlimited record is 50 and 33. I'm not that good at, at this game. Yes, I got to win a record in every mode. Like, you know, but... I'm still not the best. Like, I know I'm saying that with a 580 to 79 record, but it's people out here that only lost, like, 10 games and played, like, 700. You know what I mean? So, so it's like, yeah, like, Blake Griffin. Uh, David Robinson was a big name. Now, he wasn't the best center when he came out, but he was arguably the top two center. Or you could make an argument he was, but David Robinson was in so many people lineups for the longest, too. Now, when you got to Vince Carter and J.R. Smith, that's when people was like, eh, eh, not worth it. But then after that, they gave us Luka. So they made up for it. So I, I just don't I just don't know how 2K moving forward is going to do. I hope for the best because I want to make content. But, like, when, when you're not giving out the best of the best content for free, like, you're hiding everything behind packs, at least last year, by this time, we got gauntlets, gauntlet sims, spotlight sims. Now, I was mad because how hard it made him last year. But when I finally got Taco, he was the probably the best card in the game when I finally got him. And if he was able to get him. And a lot of those dark matters going to Taco, like some of those challenges gave you free dark matters. Like that James Wiseman was in so many people lineups. He was, in my, he was my backup center because he was so good. But we're not getting that same level of content this year. And if anybody ever tells you that, they're yes men. Or they want that logo. Or they sign creators. Most people that don't that don't give a shit about, you know, those logos or not. And, you know, not trying to get on 2K good side. Those are the people who speak in truth. The people who want to always say, oh, what y'all complaining for? What, what? They're not speaking truth. They, they got to be honest with themselves. They're not being honest with themselves. They're not. Let's be real. I just watched Agent Double Zero video, right? He literally said it. Like, he literally said it in his video. It's the reason why he wasn't going to sign that contract because they was going to limit, they was going to censor him. Your favorite, I'm sorry, whoever's watching this, your favorite content creator that's a sign, that is a sign creator, I'm sorry. They are censored to say whatever they you know, have to say about the game. They can't really say nothing bad about the game. Even people with logos know that if they start talking shit about the game, they'll take the logo away. That's how 2K operates. So people like that don't listen to their advice. I can't. Well, I can't. You want to go ahead. You your own man. You your own person. But just take it with a grain of salt. They can't speak their full minds. Look at JD and Bio. Bio plays. He used to be Bio 2K. He Bio plays now. JD Crossover, Bio Plays, they literally were censored. They you they probably would, won't say it. I think JD probably won't say it. But as soon as they got that 2K out, they name and he I mean, as soon as they got off, out out of that contract or whatever happened, they let them go. I don't know what happened. But they started speaking their mind on the game. It's just funny because they start speaking their mind after, you know what I mean? No, no, no shit to JD and Bio. You know what I mean? There was, you know, a sign creator could change it, you know, channel. But at the same time, being a sign creator, you can't say certain stuff. And I think JD said that before. You know what I mean? Like, he couldn't say certain things. He couldn't. You cannot say certain things. So that's why I just don't get why people listen to those people. You know what I mean? Like, shout out to them because they are, you know, calling 2K for what they are. They're a greedy ass company and don't want to listen to the people. Listen to people that want better rewards. They want this game to be better. So it's like, I, that, I just don't like yes men, y'all. Y'all probably know me by now. If you watch any of my videos, whenever I did any rants, I hate yes men. Yes men, I swear to God, I hate them. You know what I mean? I just don't like yes men. But at the same time, I would never be mad at somebody for chasing a bag. But just know that you are a yes man. Just know that. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just moving on. You know what I mean? I could make a whole separate video about this this topic, but it is what it is. Um, 
yeah, let me just move on from this topic. So I really haven't been playing the game, as you can tell. I got one more draft game. I'm gonna actually say that for tomorrow. And I don't know why the state of the game. I just don't know. I also sold a lot of players, as you can tell. I sold all my invincibles, so I don't have Taco. I don't have Yao. I don't have Kawhi. I actually, what I did was I badged out of Kawhi. I basically said, fuck it. I mean, what's the point of keeping hold of my badges? I have nobody to put them on. I, okay, yeah, so I actually made good on Taco. I sold a Taco that had like 74-ish badges. And I sold a Kawhi Leonard, if I could find this, man. I sold a Kawhi, too. I, I think I badged them to like 70, 72, I want to say. And I badged out a now. Let me see how much my Yao selling for. He's not selling for nothing yet. So he's going to end in four hours, and I'll save him for tomorrow video. But I actually want to get through this. Also, remember when I opened 500K worth of packs? Some of this stuff is from that. So I'm saying to... Until you see Michael Jordan, I'm guessing. Kevin Durant. Okay, so before Kevin Durant, this is all I sold from... Stuff is Kyle Anderson. I don't know what this is from. So up from to John Morant, that's what I made back from the packs. And it's Michael Jordan. Remember, I pulled Michael Jordan in uh, packs. He sold for like 150 ish So I'll take that too. 19K. These are the My Team Anniversaries. I forget which Jordan. I think this is the Zero Gravity. No, this is the NBA 75th Jordan, I believe. So that sold for a good price. That's the Invisible uh, Jordan I pulled. And these are the Galaxy Opals. Remember, uh, they still getting price fixed in the market by bots, so you still can sell them for 5.5. Uh, this is another LeBron. These are all the Jordan. I think all the LeBrons and Jordans I pulled, and I also these is like two of these is from. Hold on, I didn't even go over packs yet. I'm sorry, I kind of went on my little rant. Also, I picked up Chris Epps. <laughs> See, uh, you know, my, I'm everywhere because this game is just so bad right now. Uh, also picked up hollow versions of Michael and LeBron. I never got to mention that. Also, I picked up uh, hollow versions of Chris Stapps and Ben. So before I get into the rest of this MT, because I'm going to show you all what I sold. I was just trying to make up for not telling you all how much I made for the from pack opening on the weekend. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, super packs. We don't. I don't care about super packs. I'm not going over super packs. Fuck, fuck giving 2K. You know promo. Don't open these super packs. You'll never see me promote super packs. Don't open these super packs. Please, for the love of God, don't open them. You could do it with your own money, but you're hearing from me. Don't open them. That's my advice. Also, this released yesterday. I actually picked up, like I showed y'all, out of position. Chris Apps, I really don't care about picking up the Invincible or the end game because, I mean, let's face it, I think Shaq and and Dirt and Whiskey still can stop that man. Now, he, he's not going to stop. I can't stop Yao and Taco, and I'm actually looking to pick up Yao and Taco, the Invincible version still, back up, because I sold them, as y'all can see. But, yeah, um... I don't even want to go over this shit because this is just copy and paste. This, this been, this been, this been, this been, this been, stuff for that been, I don't think. Some of these bins don't have range on Hall of Fame, some do. And like, they're literally the copy paste of this glitch one with more badges. That's it. And I think maybe they gave them a better like dribble sig, but they, they literally copy. This whole, bro, this whole season has been just copy and paste. I don't even want to go over these packs because you're looking to pick up a bin, pick up this Mystic one, I think. I think. I mean, I think that's the best version you could pick up in terms of price. I think you go for like 30 something thousand. This, invest, this My Team Anniversary is ass, don't pick them up. And you probably can't afford the Invincible if you can pick up the Invincible if you want. It's just, I, I don't care. Chris Stapps, I mean, I wanted the out of position so I can get cheesy with it. And I'm waiting for a bowl bowl. I might replace Yao Ming because he's a little slow on defense. He I get burnt with bowl bowl. I mean, uh, I get burnt with Yao Ming out there on shooting guard or point guard. So, <laughs> but yeah, like 
these Chris steps are not like the best, I guess the animation was, but of course the end game is, but you know, I, I just don't, I think this out of position, Chris steps got behind the back and I think a lot of them do, but yeah, like it's just, it's just the same old, same old shit every fucking week. I just don't want to play it no more because 2K just don't care. So why would I care? You know what I mean? So let me, let's get back into the rest of the MT. Uh, this Kevin Durant, I actually sold my Kevin Durant Hollow. He sold 564. I bought him for like 200k, so I did lose MT that way. Uh, it's Lance Stevenson. I think this was the I don't know which one that was, but these are just more stuff. Also, I opened a hundred and like 20 ish k worth of packs for for Ben and Chris Stapps. I only pulled two Dark Matters. Like like again, stay away from packs. It's not worth it. Uh, some of this stuff is like just extra stuff in my collection and as you can see taco was going for like 150-ish 200k i badged out taco made about 100k and i badged out a kawaii made about 100k because after taxes that's 300 and you could buy i bought this kawaii for 200k ish so i made like 140 i say like 100 not 100 for like 120 ish so i'll take it I'm back at 10 mil. <laughs> Speed with ball. This is just diamond shoes I already had. Diamond shoe boost. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, this is Michael's from where? I think I pulled an extra pack when I went off of camera. I think so. Uh, okay, so I did pull this Ben. This is a Mystic Ben. Sold his ass. Sold that Michael back because I, I found a hollow version of my team anniversary. Okay, that was the Paul Gasol I sold Invincible. This is the J.R. Smith Invisible I sold. And I got y'all with a 500k pack opening. Now I'm at 10.5 on Friday. And I'm going to end it there because I know I'm going to show y'all my clutch time team. So this is the cheesy line I'm running so far. Uh, I sold my, if I had, no, no, because Taco, y'all mean anyways. So I really don't have a big, big center. If Kareem come out. I'm going to put Kareem at the three, and if Bobo come out, I'm going to just put Kareem at the, the, the center position and Bobo at the at the four. But, yeah, that's it for me, y'all. Like I said, it's nothing to really do. I mean, I got the draft to do for tomorrow for a video, and that's it. I, I don't really see myself playing this game this season. It's just it's no – I'm going to try to keep making videos, but I'm not going to try to force them either. So, yeah, I'm going to end it right there. Thank you all for coming out to the video. Sorry if it wasn't more entertaining. I'm just, my spirits are low because this game is just bad. It's just bad. It's in a bad state. And I wish it wasn't. It don't have to be. They can release Gauntless Sims right now with a fire-ass reward. And I'm not talking about shitty rewards. I'm talking about a free in-game. Who didn't come out yet? free in-game Kareem. Everybody will play the game. A free in-game Bowl Bowl. But no, 2K is going to release those impacts to make money, and that's it. So that's it for me, y'all. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.